This video is about the blocks available in a standard Moodle 2.0 installation. Firstly, in your course, make sure you have turned editing on, either by clicking the button in the top right, or by clicking Turn Editing On in the Settings block under Course Administration. In the Blocks area on the right, in the drop-down menu, click to add a new block. We'll start with the Activities block. The Activities block shows links to all resources and activities in your course. Blocks can be hidden so that only teachers can see them by clicking on the Hide icon. And then Unhidden. You can use the Roles icon to give an extra level of capability to certain users. You should not use this until you fully understand the Roles and Capabilities settings in Moodle. Blocks can be moved around in a similar way to other resources in your course, using the Move icons. They can be moved to a different location in the same column, or to the column on the other side. You can remove a block at any time by clicking on the Delete icon. Blocks that have been removed can be easily added again using the Add a Block drop-down menu. Although we are only showing one block at a time in this video, you can have as many blocks displayed at the same time in your course. As you are experimenting with blocks, it is worth clicking the Turn Editing Off button once in a while to see exactly how your blocks will look. I'll now continue with the rest of the blocks. The Blog Menu block gives quick access to the blogging functions, adding entries, viewing entries, your own course or site entries, and preferences. If you are using blogs with your students, it is a good idea to add this block. The Blog Tags block shows the tags that are in use in the course or site. Clicking on a tag will display a list of all blog entries that have added this word as a tag. The Calendar block displays the current month graphically. Different event types are displayed in different colours. Clicking on event types in the legend below the dates will show or hide these event types. In the Calendar block, you can move backward and forward through the months using the arrows. Or click on the displayed month to go to the full calendar view. Note that the current date is automatically highlighted. The Comments block is a little like a mini chat room that lets students and teachers write a short message on the course page. The Community Finder, if enabled by the site administrator, would let you search and download courses that others have shared. Course Completion Status reports on the completion status of your course. Students see their personal completion details. Teachers, admins, managers and course creators see a link to a report to view student completion status. The Course Site Description block displays the summary that is added when a course is created. The Courses block displays any courses you have access to. Students will see just their courses. There may be a link to all courses displayed. The HTML block is very simple but very flexible. It allows you to put text, images, links or documents into a block on your course page. The Latest News block displays the latest posts to the News Forum. More blocks will be described in the next video.